Hi everyone. In today's video, I am going to show you how to make these adorable yarn gnome ornaments for Christmas. They are super easy to make, only take a few supplies and you can make an ornament in about 30 to 45 minutes. And I'm just showing you a bunch of ornaments that I've made um, over, over the past few days since I learned how to make these little guys. And so let's get started with the supply. So you're gonna need a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll. You're gonna cut it into one inch segments. So if you use a paper towel roll, you'll be able to get 11 of these sections. And this section is gonna be the band for the gnome's hat. You're also going to need about 50 to 60 worsted weight or light worsted weight pieces of yarn that are about 12 inches each. So you can cut those out in whatever color you want your hat to be. Um, I'm gonna show you an easy uh, method that I use to cut the yarn. I'm just using a six inch quilting block, but any six inch um, flat surface that you have would work like a little notepad or a little book, anything that's six inches and just wrap your yarn around and around and around until you have about, I think this is probably about 20 here. And then I'm just gonna cut. And then there I have my perfect 12 inch pieces of yarn. And we're gonna make a candy cane stripe for the gnome's hat. So I'm gonna cut some white yarn as well. I'm just gonna spin it around and around about 20 times. Um, I had a little bit left over red and white yarn, so that's why I didn't cut that much. But if you're doing it yourself, you'll probably need about 30 red, 30 white, or 60 of all solid color, if that's what you wanna do. Okay, so the next supply that we need is just some twine. I'm gonna cut it to about 12 inches, and this is gonna be um, what we're gonna use for the ornament hook, an embroidery needle, and then we're gonna need some yarn for the beard. So this is a worsted weight yarn that I'm using, and we're gonna cut this into, um, like you need a hard surface that's seven inches and you're just gonna wrap around and around and around. And the reason for this, we need a, the beard to be a little bit longer than those little hat strands. So that's why I'm using a seven inch surface. A rubber band is optional. And then we have this little wooden bead for the nose. And that's basically, those are the supplies. I wrap the beard yarn around about 50 times. So just keep that in mind. And then you also need a little bit of cotton stuffing or polyfill or a few cotton balls. Okay, so let's get started. So we're gonna make the hat first and then we're gonna move on to the beard. So for the hat, just take a strand of your yarn and just um, fold it in half. And then you're just going to loop the two ends, the two open ends underneath that loop there. And this is, um, I guess it didn't work for me that first time, so let's go ahead and try it again. So we're going to fold it in half, and I'm doing this as a left-handed person now, so you're going to um, just pull those two little ends through the loop, and then you'll get that little knot on the end. Um, now I'll show you how to do it as a right-handed person, or I guess what I envision how a right-handed person would do it. So I'm gonna take my right hand, um, get the loop end and then just pull it through. And then I'm going to pull the little ends through the loop and then get that little knot on the end. It's really simple. And if my words don't make sense, just shut the volume off and just watch my hands and you'll figure it out. Okay, so now for the rest of the loops, I'm gonna go back to doing it the way a left-handed person does because I'm left-handed. And that's with me kind of pulling the two ends through the right and um, tying them into the loop on the bottom there. So just, I'm gonna go all the way around to the band of the hat. It's gonna take me maybe about, I think this part is probably the part of the gnome ornament that takes the longest time. It's about 20 minutes. So just put on a podcast while you're doing this or watch your favorite TV show. It's a great um, project just to kind of zone out to. So I'm just gonna go around and around staggering my yarn, um, one red and then one white because we want that little candy cane stripe. And I'm gonna go ahead and speed up until we get to the end and I will see you back in a second and we can move on to the next step. Okay, so we're just adding our last string here. So we're gonna end with a white to keep our little pattern going. And now I'm just going to kind of flatten all the string out, just pull it through, comb it with my fingers 
And then we are going to cut a little red string. This is maybe about nine, 10 inches. Um, we're going to need that to tie off the hat. Um, so now I am going to take all those little strands and just push it through, just push it through the center, through the other side. And the reason that we do this step is because we want it to look like the little hat rim that it's like a little fold, like you'd see on a hat. And you'll see how that looks in a second when I finish pulling all the yarn through. So you see how that it already starting to look like a little hat. And because we pulled it through, we have the little rim. I'm going to put just a little bit of cotton in there, uh, polyfill. Um, it's about the size of a cotton ball. And I just want that to um, start shaping the little crown before I tie it off. So that kind of helps me figure out where I need to tie my string. So I'm going to lay my string out flat horizontally, put my hat on top of it, and then um, decide where I want the crown to be, and then just tie it off right there. And I'm going to double knot it and then wind the string around again a few times and then double knot it again just to make sure that that is good and secure. And then once I think my knot is pretty secure, I'll just go ahead and cut off the little ends and then we can move on to trimming the little pom-pom. And this is a, a really fun part of this project. It's like you get to give the little pom-pom a haircut. So to shape it, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit more polyfill at this point. I only want it to be half full, and I'll explain why in a second. So we just want it to be about half full at this point. And then we're gonna gather up the pom-pom like in the crease of my hand like that, and I'm just gonna cut um, the edges off, and that's gonna give me a nice size pom-pom. And just be careful while you're doing this, you know, not to cut your skin, just go nice and slow, and um, you know, move your hand around as you need to to get those little um, pieces that are kind of flyaways. And if you don't get them all, you can, you know, just do it freehand when once, um, once you um, finish that stage. All right, so now I'm going to take the twine and I'm going to tie a knot in the end and I'm going to probably quadruple knot it. I want it to be nice and big um, because I don't want it to be able to um, come through the top of the hat and fall out. I'm going to take my embroidery needle and now we're just going to thread the twine right up through the center of the hat, through all that cotton or polyfill, and then right out through the center of the pom-pom. And then we're going to um, send it back through again, and that's going to make the loop. Make sure that I'm ending somewhere in the center of the polyfill. And then I'm going to um, tie an end, a tie a knot into this other end as well. So now we'll have like a nice, simple loop for our little gnome ornament and we can hang it on the tree easily. So just knot this maybe about three, four times until it's nice and thick so that it won't be able to get through the polyfill or that top of that hat there. So it's nice and secure, just like that. Okay. So now that we've got our hat done, we can move on to the beard. So I'm going to take the yarn that we wrapped around this seven inch notebook and um, I realized I have to fill up the rest of my hat. So I'm going to get some more polyfill and just fill it up so that it reaches the brim there. So it's about maybe about another cotton ball or two. Um, if you're using cotton balls, you can use either polyfill or cotton balls for this. All right. So now we have our beard yarn and I've wound this around about 50 times and it's a worsted weight yarn. I want it to be a nice big fluffy beard. I'm going to slide it off carefully, making sure um, not to disrupt it too much because we are going to tie this rubber, an rubber band right in the center. So I'm going to just... Um, place my rubber band in the center, being careful not to disturb little strands. My rubber band's a little bigger than I'd like. Um, so if you have a smaller one, a smaller one would work better. It's going to look like a little butterfly when you're done there. That's what you're going for. You want to have an even amount of yarn on either side. And then we're going to take um, a little piece of yarn. This is maybe 14, 15 inches. And we're just going to wind it around and around and make it nice and tight. So um, tighter than the rubber band because I have a rubber band that's a little bit too big there. And we're just going to tie it two or three times and then we're going to wind it around again and again um, to cover up that pink rubber band and also to make sure it's nice and secure. And then once we have that, we're going to take one end and we're going to just cut right through it. We're going to cut the loops and this is going to make half of the beard. Then we're going to take the other side in a second 
and do the same. If you missed any loops in that first go around, um, you can just go back one, you know, individually and just cut them off. Um, and the way to, you know, it doesn't matter what the length is. You just kind of stick your scissor in the loop and pull tight and then um, cut and then that'll give you the right length. But for our little gnome, it's good that we have that it looks like he has a little bit of a layered beard. It's going to help make it look more realistic. And we're going to do some trimming now. So I'm going to set our beard down. I'm going to pull a few strands forward for the mustache. I'm going to grab it all together in my hand, add some glue right around the, um, the center there. And I'm going to stick my hat right on top of that. And we're just trying to secure the center right now. We're not trying to secure the edges of the hat because we need to stick the nose in and we need to stick the nose under the brim of the hat. So we need that to still be um, free and not glued together yet. So you start by gluing the center um, and then add a little bit glue to this bead here. This is an eight millimeter wooden bead. And then you're just gonna kind of stick that in towards the back there. And then we need to attach it to the hat as well. So I'm gonna add a little drop like in between the hat and the bead, hold it there until it um, is secure. And if you get like a little bit of a uh, glue blob, you can just, um, you know, scrape it off with um, uh, like any kind of pointy tool. And then we're gonna go around now and just secure the edges. So I'm gonna add some of the glue gun, the glue from the, the hot glue gun and around the brim of the hat on the inside. And then I'm just gonna press the yarn right against it just so that there's a nice grip all around um, the edge of the, of the hat. And then once we finish that step, now we can move on to shaping the mustache and the beard. So I'm pulling out these little strands here for the mustache. I'm going to cut it on an angle. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Just pick maybe five or six little um, pieces of yarn that are towards the front to make the mustache and just cut it on an angle. And then um, see how that looks. And now I'm just fixing up the mustache a little bit and then we'll just go around the edges. Um, and give it a little bit of like a fan look or a V look, I guess is what I'm going for. I'm just gonna um, just cut, cut, cut. This part's probably easier to do if you just hold it in front of you. Um, that way it's a little bit harder to do against the table, but I did that so you could see. And then we have our little gnome. So our first gnome ornament is done, our little candy cane hat gnome. And then here are some others that I made as well. Again, they're addictive. Once you make one, you're going to want to make a dozen of them. I think they're great little um, Christmas gifts or a great gift to add when you're sending Christmas cards out maybe in early December so that they can get on people's trees this year. You can add like little charms if you want or beads into the beard. I think I have an example somewhere where I did that. This is a great stash buster project. Um, all the yarns that I'm using are all like leftover yarns from other projects, some of which I think were like projects from 10 years ago. Never thought I was going to use the little bits of leftover yarn, but got to do it for this project. Um, you can, you know, use all kinds of yarn. It's, it's really up to you. Um, and you can, you know, decorate the hats if you want with maybe some little sequins. You can add a little fabric label that says Christmas 2021 or love you or anything like that. You know, the possibilities are endless. So I would love to hear what you think about this project. And if you have any questions about how to make the little gnomes, please leave me a message in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. Have a great day, everyone. And I hope everyone is having a really wonderful holiday season.